Hello from sunny Florida. I'll be honest, we are a bit stressed right now. We are cruising in a few days, hopefully. Hi there, happy holidays and Merry Christmas. My name is Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Now, if we haven't met before, then maybe you don't know, but I live in Canada and we came down a few days before our cruise to kind of hang out in sunny, beautiful Florida. We love it here and we're really having a very nice time, but we are a little bit stressed because of course we cannot escape all of the news and then we know even back home, there are people that are testing positive for this virus. We are absolutely nervous. Did we do the right thing? Um, and if you're planning a cruise, do you think it's a good idea to cruise right now? There are some things that we need to talk about. Now in this video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the recent cruise outbreaks, the cruise ports that have been canceled or that are closing for cruise lines, as well as the enforcement of protocols and the changes that are happening on some cruise ships. So firstly, let's talk about the recent outbreaks on cruise ships. And I do think when you're looking at some cruise ships having as many as 50 passengers and crew on a cruise ship that do test positive, whether or not people are asymptomatic or not, it definitely does make some bad publicity and it really has the potential to ruin your vacation. So I do think that is significant and I think it does make a lot of sense that cruise lines are going to be stricter as we predicted with a lot of the protocols on board. So that is something to think about. If masking on your cruise, if some of these stresses that have to do with the potential of maybe missing some of the cruise ports along your cruise itinerary, if that is something that will stress you, it is something to think about if you should perhaps whether it's cancel or maybe even just postpone your cruise, I think that is a reality right now, maybe to consider, but please let me know what you think of that. Now, as you probably have heard, I know even in Florida, the last few days, I'm definitely hearing people talk about this. Some of the cruise ports are, well, closing to certain cruise ships. And honestly, for the cruise ports, I understand completely. They just don't wanna have a big outbreak on their island. So it does really make a lot of sense but I do think right now for any of us that cruise, we just have to be aware that itineraries can change. We may have more sea days. It may not be exactly what we expect. And I don't really think this is the cruise line's fault. I think that they are trying to navigate in this time that we unfortunately have this surge in the pandemic yet again and airlines are having difficulty and many towns many um, cities are having difficulties as well and people are having to make adjustments to their travel plans now when it comes to the changes on some of the cruise ships some of it i understand and some of it i'll be honest i'm going to give you my opinion on it it may be a little bit controversial but some of it i don't really agree with so one um, masking protocols um, more stricter um, guidelines on the cruise ship. I really completely understand that and I agree with it. I think in this case it's really prudent and it is the thing to do and for people that are cruising on the ships I think we have to just be aware of why the cruise lines are doing this and I think that it is something that they probably should do. However when it comes to some cruise lines changing some of their um, policies right now during this time and what i'm speaking about in particular is any cruise lines that are changing um their testing at the end of their cruise um at the end of the cruise for people that were traveling back to canada or international travelers that need to have a test before flying home or before driving home uh, many cruise lines not all of them but many cruise lines were providing this free of charge um, on the cruise ship at the end of the cruise. Now I understand that they don't necessarily need to provide it free of charge, but in some cases, and this is Royal Caribbean in particular, giving uh, cruise passengers about two to three weeks notice um, before their cruise to have to figure out um, their testing, how to do this at the end of their cruise when they didn't expect it and have to possibly rearrange flights I just think we are in the time where there is a surge um, during this pandemic and I just really kind of question if this was the right timing to do this or if there just wasn't maybe enough time to maybe give people the opportunity to kind of make other arrangements. So maybe giving passengers six weeks or eight weeks notice might have been something that the cruise lines during these times 
may have considered. Please let me know if you agree or if you disagree with this. No, um, no shade to Royal Caribbean. I think they're a great cruise line. They've been doing a great job throughout this pandemic in terms of sailing, but I just don't think this was the right thing to do for people that were already booked. Okay, so now for our situation and our own sense of nervousness. This is something I really hadn't considered that much, I guess, prior to uh, coming down to Florida. And of course, things are changing day by day by day. So when I made my video about a week and a half ago, things have really changed even since then. I had not considered the idea of being asymptomatic and perhaps testing positive for this virus and being here in Florida. And we definitely are experiencing some nervousness. Now, just something to mention, we are being extremely careful. We drove down to Florida and this is about a 24 hour drive. We did stop at a hotel. I sanitized um, the room, although it was really very, very clean, the hotel room, but we were very careful. We didn't eat in any restaurants along the way. We wore N95 masks. We have been extremely careful, even in Florida, always wearing our masks. We, when we're not, you know, outdoors, um, and we're being as careful as we think we can be while still, you know, enjoying ourselves and um, going out a little bit. But we definitely are experiencing nervousness because we even have friends and people we know that are testing positive back home that were asymptomatic or had very mild symptoms. And I think this is really going around maybe more than I had really thought, even if you take precautions. That's just a reality. We're nervous about it, so we're hoping that everything is gonna go fine, that our precautions are, well, that it's gonna be good. We're gonna get on our cruise ship, so cross your fingers for me. Uh, let me know, please, though, what you think. Is it something, should people be postponing their cruises or should um, should people just go ahead and live and you know we'll just uh, trust that things hopefully go well please let me know what you think in the comments below i will give you an update as we get closer to our cruise and um well i hope that we'll be able to do a video on the cruise ship we are on the regal princess so we do from medallion net and we'll be able to test that out by hopefully going live on the cruise ship now, I apologize for some of the movement in the background. The reality is I'm doing this video outside and other people, of course, are here. When I started the video, it was very quiet and now it's less quiet. But I hope that the sound has been fine for you and you're able to get the gist of what I am talking about. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I wish you a very happy Christmas and a happy 2022. Bye for now and happy cruising.